We get to ride Orbea bikes here at GCN and they've invited us to come and design a custom painted bike using their customization program called Myo. And then we get to see how the whole system works here on the factory floor. And I say system because this isn't just a one-off custom special. Orbea are actually at the forefront of a new consumer trend in cycling where you get to customize stock bikes at no extra cost. Now, I say it's new to cycling, it's quite well established in other areas. So Nike, for example, has been allowing you to customise trainers for a while. Car companies like Mini have also been doing it for ages. But this is really just starting to take hold of the cycling industry. Now, of course, it all starts with the design process. And I'm being given completely free reign here. So I need to find myself a quiet room and I can really let my creative juices flow. This is going to be interesting. So I'm here on the Mayo section of the website. Now it's not completely custom in the sense that I couldn't choose, I don't know, leopard skin fading to lime green, for example. But what they've done is break the frame up into five major sections. Now I'm able to choose from a selection of colors. So I suppose we better crack on. I think I'm probably infamous for pink, maybe with darker pink patches. Plenty of red on there, a bit of black. Right. Well, Crack on with that in a bit. Now, as a consumer, when you've actually placed your order, that's the point at which the process then disappears into the ether, leaving you waiting to receive your potentially unique bike. But what actually goes on between placing that order and you receiving it? I think we should go find out. So this is the Orbea factory floor. You can see all the processes like assembly, quality control, and even product testing going on as we walk around. But we're looking for the paint lab. So here it is. Now in Orbea's case, this is where all of their frames get sprayed up, not just the custom ones. But in the case of the custom, your order gets printed out and then attached to the appropriate frame. So here we are. Now, mine is a 55 centimeter orca. It's my color scheme. I think you're gonna like it. So the next step is for this frame to get picked up, taken over here. Now, this lady then looks at your color scheme and then masks up the frame so that it can then be sprayed up in the paint shop, which is just over here. So this is where the magic happens. Voila. So your chosen paint gets picked from there, put into the spray gun, and then this chap here sprays it up. Now obviously, when you've got loads of different colors, each color has to be applied in a different layer, and the frame dries out. So after it's been sprayed, the frame then comes out here. We can see various different ones in various different stages. So those two have just had the base coat applied. Then they've obviously gone to go back to the lady with the masking tape, she tapes it up again, and then the next colour can be applied, and then it dries, and then it goes back and gets taped. So all in all, it is quite a lengthy process, and potentially it takes a week for a frame to get sprayed up with loads of different colours, before it then comes to this person here, who's currently cleaning the frame, because she's then going to apply the decals. decals get wet, placed on, and then completely smoothed out before they get left to dry, and then the final step of the process, back over here. Then, we go to the lacquering. So in there, that guy is spraying the final coat, so over the top of the decals, over the top of the paint, and that is what gives your frame a protective finish. Now the lacquer doesn't just dry though, it goes in here, which is an oven then your whole frame gets baked and then it's good to go. Okay, so after quality control, the frame then gets put on a production trolley. All your equipment choices are listed on the ID tag. Someone picks it and then one person builds the whole bike. Then it's boxed up 
and shipped out. I'm getting mine sent to the GCN offices. Let's wait and see. Here we go, the finished article. I genuinely have not seen this bike yet. Let's go for it. Looking good so far. There we go. The new GCM custom bike. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I think that bike is super nice. Now, whether or not you feel that a unique bike is important to you very much depends on you, but for me, I think it's absolutely great. And if you excuse me, I'm gonna wrap this video up really quite quickly because I have an appointment with a brand new bike. Now, I don't wanna leave you hanging. If you click just up there, then you get through to our tech playlist where we've got loads and loads of great videos about bike tech. Or to see an Orbea Orca, just like this one, but one that actually wins bike races, and lots of them, click just down there for NASA Buani's team bike. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, just click on the globe. Hopefully it won't be obscuring. It's lovely work of art.